This is Shelton R Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Lorendorf. This is the Monster Abyss. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. continued series as we count down the days to the Cauliflower Alley Club in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am Dan Marotti, joined by these two greats, a man that has main evented Raw and a man that is a WWE Hall of Famer. We're talking John Cena Sr. and Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Guys, it's been great to have you with me during this series. It's fun. We're having a great time. We are. Yep. This is like our own little mini reunion. It's weird. We're like the first three that arrived at the hotel. Yep. There you go. Today we're going to go back in time. You want to talk about one of the all-time greats in the ring, behind the scenes, a man that joined you on Legends House. They brought in both Gorilla Monsoon and Red Bastine to present this award. Mm. Pat Patterson. Patterson. The best, the best. That's all very, I can say. Very good uh, technician in the ring. And uh, his partner, uh, Ray Stevens, was absolutely amazing. The crippler, Pat yeah. Patterson and Ray Stevens, I would say, were probably one of the best tag teams of all time. Of all time. Sure. Both I go wrong with that, Tony. After exactly. seeing those tapes, Tr yeah, Tr unbelievable. Tr minute. And, and the thing about the, the thing about Pat Patterson is nothing was given to him. He come from a very humble background, you know, and he worked, you know, uh, very very hard to get to where he's at. Nothing was given to him. He he, he pushed himself and made himself one of the best. Uh, wrestlers uh, uh, in the world, mm -hmm. you know, first intercontinental champion. They created that title strictly just for him, because he was a great uh, technician, had great timing in the ring, and, and and a wonderful, wonderful individual. If you all meet him in person, I have, and he's a wonderful yeah, human wonderful being. Wonderful person, right. wonderful. Fans, if you don't know Pat Patterson the way we're describing him, go on YouTube. I don't think there's too much WWF footage of him. That maybe on the WWE Network from the early '80s, he had that fantastic brawl with Sergeant mm -hmm. Slaughter at Madison Square oh, Garden. Oh, my goodness. But, Johnny, yeah. you've got to know Pat Patterson yourself through your days and your traveling with WWE, your son, who will go down as one of the all-time greats himself, John Cena. What are your impressions of Pat Patterson now that he's kind of winding down his career and enjoying life a little bit more? Pat Patterson will never wind down his career. He's an ongoing individual. He's a great human being. He has so much knowledge that he can pass on to these young professionals today if they listen. Remember, what did he come up with? He's the guy that came up with, what's the match that he, he, that he mastered? That he put together for the first time? Was it the Battle Royal or the Royal Rumble? The Royal Rumble. Correct. There you go. So you see what this man has. Whenever you speak to Pat Patterson, he, 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 what a high level of individual he is to speak with, the knowledge that he has. He's a genuine, genuine human being in and out of the ring. And Pat, now that I'm down in Naples, I'm hoping to stop over, and him and I... I know he must play tremendous, but I'll go around the golf with him. You know, earlier you were talking about that people just know wrestlers just for their wrestling. Right. What a lot of people don't know, and I didn't know, is that Pat Patterson had great vocal cords. Yeah. I mean, sing. if you ever, I, I, I took a hear him sing at, at Legend House. I don't know if they aired it or not, but at Legend House, he did some singing, and he sung uh, My Way, isn't that My his Way, and my goodness, if you close your eyes, you would swear it's old blue eyes stand up there. People that knew the, the originator of the song thought for sure somebody was playing a record. Really? They didn't know it was Pat. I mean, he is, he's got the most amazing, and not just him, what I took a fan out that Hillbilly Jim, amazing uh, 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 talent for, for, for music. Mm -hmm. Uh, most of the songs, that the, all the songs in Legend House was, it was done by Jimmy, Jimmy Hart, who is amazing. And Ronnie Piper, I have to say, is by the, probably the most talented person that was at Legend House. He could play the piano, he could play the bagpipe, he could play the harmonica. Wow. There was not an instrument in, that, in Legend House that Ronnie Piper could, uh, 
cannot play. I mean, I, 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 I was really, really shocked with Hillbilly Jim, the way he was able to write out a song, and the way uh, Jimmy Hart was able to write out a song, and the way Pat Tyler's going to sing. I mean, the talent was absolutely amazing with, with these people. Something to talk about off the set, but wouldn't it be great if we brought Pat Patterson in for an interview and had him sing a couple songs? Oh, my goodness. That's something we could think of. We well, can only do that tape. if we bring in Tony Atlas. I got his tape. He, g he gave me a tape at the end of Legend Out. He gave a tape for, uh, 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 to my wife. And I got the tape at home. Well, you I, it's a beautiful. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful. Next it. time I come, I bring down the tape Let's and you it. can play it for them. Fans yep. Yep. again, our little mini cauliflower alley club reunion continues. With you the bologna sandwiches can go back in time to <laughs> September of 1995. Gorilla Monsoon and Red Bastine present Pat Patterson with his award. I'd like to see the young people today getting involved with the old timers. And guys like Captain Lou training these young fellas to get back to what it used to be. Maybe we'll bring wrestling back to where we'll all stand up and be real proud of it. We need now to get a couple of guys up here. Get the president of the WWF back up here, and Bastine, Red Bastine. Red. Well, he, down. At age, he fell asleep, but Carol woke him up. So, Ed, Robert, <laughs> this man here, I've had the pleasure of knowing not real well until last year when I had the pleasure of making a presentation honoring him in Las Vegas, Nevada, for the what he's done for the wrestling world and what he's done for the wrestling business. And these two men here can tell you an awful lot about this man. He don't know he's getting award, but he's more than deserving of it. Call for Ali is about to honor the legendary one and only Mr. Pat Patterson. Might, might take him a while to carry, he let himself go pretty bad. <laughs> Come on, Pat. Come on, Pat. Don't be such a <laughs> I have known this gentleman for the better part of 30 years. And when I say gentleman, I mean gentleman. It's hard to go through this profession that we're in for as long as Pat Patterson has, and not have anyone ever say anything derogatory about you. I don't think there's anyone in this room who I can make a statement about, but I can make a statement honestly about Pat Patterson, who bent over backwards time and time again, not only with art, but his pocketbook as well, to help countless numbers of people in our profession. If someone had to be honored here tonight, this is the gentleman who truly deserves it. He's about to leave our business, so he claims. I don't think for very long because I don't believe that this business would function without someone like Pat Patterson. California working for Roy Shines, for one of the greatest taggings of all time. He came and then they put Thorne on his side. He had to work with Capwell about it. That almost ruined his career. But the guy turned around, he could carry anyone, he could work with anyone. He was a great performer and a great athlete. Besides being a great being a great compassionate person. And everything the real amount said is true, Pat. I know you're not gonna read. You say you are, but you're not. You're down in Florida, you're back with us because losing you to the wrestling business. It's losing one of the greats. We love you. God be back in I've been at for, for many years, and one of the first jobs I had was when I was wrestling in San Francisco. I had been away for a while, and, and uh, I was on my way back to San Francisco, and I had Pat Patterson had been killed in San Francisco. Actually, what it turned out was that he killed San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> Floor is yours, Pat. Folks. Ah, stand up, guy. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> ah, uh, 
You like that red, don't you? <laughs> Go ahead, Bishop, stand up. <laughs> well, I could go on all night and talk about everyone. I've got so many people in my wrestling career that I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank all the wrestling fans from all over that I Because without the wrestling fans, we wouldn't be no. Some wrestling fans are a pain in the neck, and some are good, but you all deserve to be part of this. What a lucky guy I am. You know, if you live life and you have one friend, you're lucky. My God, in 38 years, Gorilla Monsoon, if you have a friend in life like Gorilla Monsoon, you're a lucky person, and he's my friend. If you have a friend in life that's like Red Basti, and you're lucky, and my friend. If you have a friend in life like Fred Blassie, you're lucky, and he's my friend. Angel Savoldi is my friend. Pedro Morales, what I got. How can you forget Pedro Morales? How can you forget Utez? He's not a friend of mine. I sure respect him because what he's done business. And I don't want to forget anybody. I don't want to get... I don't want to forget... I don't want to forget midget wrestlers that I travel. The reason I'm saying this right now, the little beaver was one of the greatest wrestlers in the business as far as it. And he's in the hospital right now and he's dying. I talked to him a couple of days ago. And I told him I was going to come here and pat if you can give my regards to everybody. He doesn't have long to live, but that was a legend in our business. The girl, the girl wrestlers, I've traveled with girls for years. The fun that I had with the girls. I take my hat off to them. I mean, all this is part of the business. I don't want to forget Arnold Scullin, a great friend of mine. I mean, God almighty, how lucky can you be to be in this business and have kinds of friends? It's incredible. And you know what? There is love in this room. We're all here because we love the wrestling business. And that's why I'm here. But I say one thing before I forget. People that have supported me for years. I don't want to forget my friend Louis down there that supported me for many, many years. And another friend of mine that's been, I've been working so hard with him, and one day he's going to be standing here, take the war like I am, is Bruce Pritchard. Hey, Bruce. I don't want to forget the referees, the agents, the guys that put up the ring, the announcers, everybody. That's part of the business. All these guys, all the newcomers that come in, in the business. They have a reason why they want to break into the business. They all deserve to be in this business because it is so great. And all I want to say is there is love in this room and because we all love the business and I feel the love. And because of that, I love them all and thank you much. Mr. Pat Patterson. You may think he's going to retire, but we're sure going to try to get him active in the Corrali Club. Pat, you think you're going to retire, but we're going to try to get you active in the Corrali Club. 